with that. We're back. We're back. Isn't that song? Been a while. It's been a little while. Hey, guys. Hey. We're back. We're going to do a review on Pirate's Alley today. Man, Pirate's Alley. What are you smoking in, bud? My Perinelli. Perinelli with the uh, apple bent. With the loose side stem. Right, with the tenon that comes out. Oh, is that right? Yeah. It's got a, a tenon that. Uh, yeah. I need to get the fellows at Rock's Pipes to right. fix it for me. Oh, speaking of Rock's Pipes, I happen to be smoking one right now. Oh, show me. This is my small, uh, little straight, billiardy looking thing. It's nice and sandblasted. Isn't that beautiful? Cute? It's, it weighs all of like, I don't know, maybe 27 grams or something. So wow. It's really sharp. Yeah, but that was a Christmas present from to me from one of the Rock's Carvers, Mr. Two Combs himself. Wow. So, Handmade here in Mississippi, too. That's right. That's right. Um, good guys. And believe it or not, it's cold down here today. It is cold. I mean, I think last night it got down to 19, right? Yeah. Isn't that right? So we know what you're going through, Boston. Not really. Not really. <laughs> not really. Not really. So, Butch, how you been doing? Been doing well. Doing How's great. everything going here? Pretty good. Yeah, we had a really busy holiday season. Yeah. Um, January, you know, retail typically is slow in January, but we had a great January, and um, yeah, just kind of trucking right along. So, How are your online sales? Really good, really good. It's been a lot of fun. We've made friends through through this venue, and then also our um, radio show um, all over the world, and so it's been it's been wonderful just to kind of connect with people and bring the spirit of our little shop to you know to the internet. Right, and here we go. Yeah. Behind me, there's the shop, as you've out. seen. Yeah. And Kim, the owner, is here, but we're going to... Oh, do you want to be... Hi. There's Kim. There's Kim. There you go. She's the real expert. She's been owning it for a while now. This is our 45th year, bud. 45th year. This is our 45th year. Continuous in business. Same ownership, same family. Kim, has it been here for 45 years? Yes. Wow, in this location. So you're the longest tenant here? By far. <laughs> By far. Yeah. God. We were not the first tenant in this building because there was a fine on the ground last So this building is probably 46 years old. Yeah. Okay, so the building's 46 years old, and they've been here 45. That's crazy. All right. That's pretty great. Enjoy it. Get my hair out of the way. My long hair. You look good. My long hair. Hey, I gotta light my pipe. Hold that for me. Yeah, here you go. Here I am. <laughs> here I am. Back in the saddle. This is my technique. Ah. You're using an exquisite uh, big pipe light, right? <laughs> is that is that made by um by Corona? Is that right? Uh, actually, this pipe lighter was handmade in a province of China. Oh, okay. So. Great. I got it indirectly through there. So I think it's a great deal. Yeah. Highly recommend them. <laughs> no, I don't. Order it through the Shell Company. That's right. <laughs> or the Chevron Company. Right. Well, let's talk about Pirates Alley. All right. Pirates Alley, to me, kind of looks like this place where we are, uh, which it has, like, there's little nooks and crannies. You can't see it, okay, but there's little nooks and crannies, and it's a little complex of shops and stuff. Right. Um, not that the shop has a complex, but the complex has shops. No, we definitely have a complex. And they were <laughs> probably. So, um, uh, Pirates Alley, let me just, okay, let yeah. me start it. Okay. And then you can we do all the... We actually might want to get Kim to chime in because it's kind of got a, a story behind it as well. Okay. But, um, yeah, what, you want to start? I do because um, I've been, you know, the guys talk and they talk about Parikh. And I know a lot of guys love Parikh and right. I don't. I don't. Yeah, you're not a Parikh guy. I'm not a Parikh guy you're because not. it's peppery and it gets in my nose. Mm -hmm. And someone said, well, you got to try Pirate's Alley. And I said, that's fine, but I'll hate it. <laughs> but I'll try it to see. And I give it a, f a fair shake, and it's really good. The Parikh starts out strong for the first minute. Yeah, it's, it's pretty zesty at, yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. And then it just mellows out into this beautiful smoke that I've been smoking now for a month. Yeah. Yeah, it and is funny because you came back in and got some, and I was like, yeah. "What? What's wrong with him? <laughs> How'd that happen?" He don't know his own mind. Yeah, but um, yeah. So I've been loving it. That's so great. um, 
that's why I wanted to talk about it. And that's really all I have to say about it, except that it's just a, a great everyday smoke. Yeah. It's it's yeah. not overpowering. Um, it just tastes good the whole time, and there's no tongue bite for me. Well, we've had Pirates Alley at the Squire for a long time, and actually, Ken, if I'm not mistaken, Pirates Alley is a uh, is a section in the French Quarter. It is. Is that right? It is a street. It's a street in the French Quarter. Pirates Alley was where John Lafitte traveled back in whenever he did. Right. Right in South Louisiana. John Lafitte in South Louisiana when he was. Up, and it was the Pirates Alley, like a literal Pirates Alley. Was he right. Blackbeard? Was Certainly it? not. No? I don't think so. Oh. We'll find out. We're about to find out. <laughs> I thought... Maybe so. Because Blackbeard was down in the Caribbean, which meant he would come up to New Orleans if he could. It may be the case. I don't know. But anyway, you know, as, I keep looking. Anyway. as we all know, are you looking at the wrong dot? I am. I keep. French American and was a privateer in the Gulf of Mexico in the early 19th century. He had an older brother named Pierre. French American, early 19th century. He smuggled goods in a warehouse in New Orleans. He smuggled goods he in a smuggler. warehouse. He was a smuggler. He was a smuggler. Did he smuggle tobacco? Okay, it was a very successful smuggling operation. Well, we, we're... Um, we're okay. We're going to assume it was tobacco. We're going to d insist it was tobacco. Right. Oh. That's interesting. Wow. Hey, okay. Joe. So, what's up, man? And Joe's. How's it going, man? Good. How are you doing? Good. We're actually on camera. <laughs> We're filming. We're actually filming on camera. Oh, okay. Doing? This is Hen Shows. Good. This is Hen <laughs> Shows. He's a, a regular here. And we're smoking Pirate's Alley. We're smoking Pirate. We're doing a little review today. Do you okay. do Pirate's Alley? No. I don't do that, but. He's more of a straight Virginia guy. He, he's not a big, a big Korean. Nerd either. Yeah. Oh. Well, he should try it. Yeah. Um, oh. Which one did I try? Isn't that pretty? Um, I have a beautiful pipe case like that, too. It goes to my daughter's private school. <laughs> 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 so, so anyway, Pirates Alley. With Pirates Alley, we've got a tobacco that we've had here a long time. Of course, uh, Parique being a Louisiana tradition of for so long, um, you know, obviously, you know, when they developed the blend here at the Squire, they wanted to honor that, the spirit of that, and um, Pirates Alley kind of being such a pivotal um, part of that South Louisiana tradition, um, and also um, a, several members, Kim included, of the Reeves family went to LSU, so even though we're in Mississippi, we kind of have a Louisiana connection there, so wanted to honor that some, too. And for years, that's the only place was in that section. That's know. right. That's yeah. right. Parik's only grown down there in St. James Parish. I think right. you guys know that. Most of you guys probably know that. Yep. Yep. And that's the, that's the good stuff. So, anyway, we had, a, like, a really strong Parik blend, and it, for whatever reason, it had gotten to the point where it was Pirate Salad. We had it for years, and it kind of gotten where, like, people, I don't know if people's tastes had just changed enough, but we kind of retired it and worked on the recipe some and recently brought it back. And, um... Who brought it back? Um... Who... Who reworked the recipe? The Country Squire did. John David. Did. But I worked on it for a while. I worked John on David. it for a while, and then and then so we brought it back. It's um, it's heavy uh, Perique, um, Virginia and Burley. Um, and that's it. No Latakia. And that's it. There's no Latakia. No yeah, It's got a nice zestiness to it. A really nice. Uh, you know, we we always wanted um, something that would really give those people that love a heavy zing that um, nice peppery curry, but something that also is a little more palatable so you can smoke kind of throughout the day um, and, and not really uh, get too, uh, too sick of or sick. And, sick and I'm from. here to tell you that you won't get sick of or from it because I can, you know, 
I can smoke it and it, I go back and smoke it some more. It's just really good stuff. As a matter of fact, I feel like I'm kind of letting some other things go. Yeah. Because of it. Well, you're a Latakia nut. Though. I'm a Latakia nut. Yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of in that realm. Yeah. I think a lot of us are Latakia nuts. But uh, next week or next time we're going to do, can we do Briar's? Let's do Bowser's Castle. Bowser's Castle. Bowser's Castle. We're going to try to do that. And it's 35% Latakia. 35% Latakia. Yeah. It's and, good. Um, just as an aside, on the um, Pirate's Alley, we were kind of going for something that was reminiscent of um, Cornell and Deal's Bayou Morning. Um, that's kind of the tradition of where, you know, Pirate's Alley, they had kind of come from with it before at the Squire. We wanted to bring that back, something, you know, if you're aware, the Cornell and Deal of uh, Bayou Morning has a... Um, they are. It's like a 25%... Parik content, so I mean, it's very, very heavy Parik. That's a lot. Um, and and this is similar to that as well. So we wanted something that um, it's that heavy. It's that heavy. Yeah, it We've doesn't taste lot. like it's it. It's very mellow, which is really nice. I want to say that's a testament to this tobacconist right here because, you know, for someone who doesn't like Parik, me, I really enjoy it. So we you did, did a great. He did a great job blending it. Whatever, however he does that. We do good work. Very good work. All right. But anyway, this so, we'll talk about uh, Bowser's Castle next week, which yeah. we developed for yeah. one of our friends um, whose last name happens to be Bowser. What's his first name? His first name is Briar. That's so his first name. He, he, this is a real person. He was meant to be. He's he not was, a real person. He, no, he, he's, he's a cartoon. He's a real human, <laughs> he is a real human person. He's a cartoon. <laughs> he's a steampunk cartoon. He, that is true. <laughs> So, if your name's Briar Bowser, you have to be cool, and you have to smoke a pipe, and you have to be a video game. Right. But um, and he's really cool. And he's a cool guy. So anyway, we'll talk about his blend. Okay. Really heavy Latakia. Um, and um, man, Butch is good to be back in the saddle. Dude. It's good. Yeah. So uh, okay, great. So good to see everybody, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye, y'all. Bye.